everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jules. My pronouns are he, him. And if you are new here, I am a professional food photographer and stylist and soon to be um, published cookbook author. And hold on a second. Seems that there's something going on here. Um, I don't know if you can hear me or if you can see me. Um, I don't see any video. Huh. One second. Um, this is weird. One minute. I don't even know if you can hear me. There's a lot of static. One second. One second here. Let me mute my microphone. One second. Okay, and open sound settings. Let's try this now. There we go. Hopefully you can hear me now. Hopefully it is not staticky. I'm just waiting it for it to catch up on my end to see um, if it's working. Okay, there we go. And now, okay, <laughs> let's try this all over again. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my stream. Uh, my name is Jules, my pronouns are he, him. I am a commercial food photographer and stylist and soon to be published cookbook author. And if you're new to my stream, every single Saturday we sit and we plan and my camera is just not focusing. You might hear my dogs in the background. Um, I'm in a new setup. I'm at a new desk and it's making my dogs a little bit anxious. So one of them is chewing in the background. But as I was saying, if you are new to my channel, Every single Saturday we sit here and we grab whatever system we use and, and we plan and um, or journal or do art or, or whatever it is that you want to do for an hour and a half. And we sit and we chat. Um, and today what I'm doing, and you can join me if you want to, is I am setting up my... Um, Jaboon Techo Diary um, for April um, and getting that all. I've already somewhat started because there's a few things I need to accomplish in April that um, 
so I wouldn't forget I put them in my journal normally I don't do that but on April 1st um, begins three rounds of copy edits in my cookbook with my editor and there's just a whole bunch of other moving parts um, I'm currently on holiday on a two-week break um, vacation um, time off whatever you call it depending on on where you're from so um, yeah I normally don't do this in advance I normally like can keep it all in my head but I have a lot going on so I just wanted to be safe rather than sorry um so I've already done black I guess I'm back to yellow interesting so I, I have these tabs um I got them on Amazon um they yeah I I mean one day I should probably like do a video of all the stuff that I regularly use and then put links in case you like it I like these because they're color-coded and I mean they're meant to last I believe what the intention of these um are is that you use like one Per whole year and there's there's 10 years worth of tabs here or 10 journals worth of tabs and as it goes through the year the color gradient um happens i use um a different like i rotate through the colors each month so we are on april and so let me add this tab um hopefully i'm not used to to like doing these videos with you all with um, my camera so close however new desk new location this desk oh my goodness I love it so I mean I can look higher let me see if I can move this there's like this whole other area where all my pens and stuff are up there and then um, this part move angles like moves so I can use it like a drafting desk and it's also a sit stand desk because I can hire like raise both the I'm doing this outside the frame <laughs> anyways you can lower or higher and lower um, both this part and the part back here that houses all my pens and stuff um, and yeah I, I use a balance ball yoga ball exercise ball whatever whatever they want to call it so um yeah let's see what um yeah so i need to add this tab and then add um the weekly tab here where April starts so where's the weekly monthly what what oh interesting so I can only I have to go to this one interesting I feel like I am missing something here, but I'm not. So I went down here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so weekly tab here. That looks right. One to the weekly section. So what do you all for have been up to? What are you planning? What's new? What's exciting? Um, freelies. Tell me everything I got to do. Freelies. Where am I? I, let's see what, what is new. So yeah, I'm on holiday right now. And, um, I wasn't, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to have so every at the end of every quarter business quarter I take two weeks off from client work whatever you know 
do the holidays like people do. That a lot of people who are self-employed um, kind of neglect. That's super important that you do. Um, I don't understand. I keep getting an error in YouTube. That's um, that's weird. Um, one second. Let's see. So I'm gonna go. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. One second. Sorry, I'm having an issue with the stream. Apparently, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep checking on it. And this, my light just like went bonkers. Anyways, um. And I was worried because of the cookbook development that I wouldn't be able to do it um, this time, however, or like this, this quarter, um, however, I was able to schedule the photo shoots such that, um, yeah, I was able to do it without a problem. And, um, however, that said, I, on Wednesday, was, um, what's it called? <laughs> Wednesday, sorry, I'm trying to, like, do stickers and this at the same time. On Wednesday, I had to go and film, um documentary about my work um which was really interesting um it's one of two documentaries that are being filmed about my work this year from like production companies that are not my own that are approaching me and like hey you're doing really interesting things in the in the um world of art why don't you can we can we can we tell your story or film your story which has been yeah so I did that on this past Wednesday which is was was interesting um and let's do oh yeah April I knew I would run into this problem um did I do this somewhere there's one more sticker of these that I stick somewhere my brain is having a really hard time today. I think part of the problem is that I am on holiday and my brain knows that. So it's like, we're checking out. We are checking out and, but I have, I use the monthlies. Where do I use the monthlies? I remember, put back my Hobonichi. I use the monthly. Up here. <laughs> I've also changed now how I am using the um, monthly calendar that is found in the Dagoon Techo days. Um, I'm starting to use it because I have um, that my I use this um, passport um traveler's notebook you probably can hear my dog <laughs> he might he might like start making a racket because i use this um passport for a health journal to keep track of um health conditions and blood work or whatever but i've started to i've started to put like where whereas this um monthly calendar here is used for like appointments and and due dates and other things going on through the month. This is used to kind of capture at a month, like I when I finish my photo edits, like um, when I increase prescription medications, when I when it's time for me to renew medications. Things that are more personal are in things that I want to like memory keep, um, not forget about when I'm journaling are or in this monthly calendar in the days and then in the diary this is like my my appointments and such so let me put these tabs back and let's 
speaking of appointments, um, I've got to put this back too. Let's, um, hmm, let us do, uh, yeah, colors. Let me grab some, my hope, my, um, Hobonichi oh, cheese. Wow, I am so like checked out right now. These are my my Tombow brush pens. Um, uh, and start off with deadlines. Uh, which is N60. Right now on Amazon, the old um complete line of um Hobo Nich or Tombow. I've got to stop doing that. The Tombow brush pens. The, um, when it used to be, I think, 99 colors instead of 106. Those numbers might not be exactly correct. But, yeah, so they're on sale, like 50% off right now to get all 99 brush pens. And as you can see, um, one of my dogs, when he wants attention, he likes to steal my brush pens. It's one of the reasons why I got another desk is so that he cannot get to these I like I can store them more safely while I'm working and I can walk away from my desk like mid task and not worry that he's gonna jump up and steal something but I'm almost tempted to um to <laughs> to buy the set because it is just so cheap and they have like six left but then there's like then I have to buy those additional six pens um so let me, yeah, so images, this is the due date. Images are due. So yeah, I use, I use this month at a glance for like, if I have any appointments, um, things that I want to, this to-do list is things that I want to accomplish during the month that do not have a due date. And these are things that have a due date, birthdays. Um, so yeah, we're, I go back to the live plan with me every single Saturday starting next week. Um, so what color is that? Um, social media creation is N65. Um, so yeah, this is, I now have, so I'm doing like, oh, that's horrible. At one point, I have to get used to this new desk. At one point I was um, outlining or outlining and then coloring in and having to, to um, pen over it so I can see the dates. Now I use my Tombow's. To outline and then once that day has passed I use um, oh hoo hoo these are brush pens with chisel edge but they're alcohol based so they bleed really really badly um, so I, I use them I use them in in concert so it's not quite overwhelming my pages but um yeah, I am kind of liking how that's working out. I have, when I do my March flip, you will see um, how, there's some changes I made in March to my, not only my color coding, but to also how I um, set up my weeks and just a few other things that will be interesting. Um, to show you I also soon am going to be filming um, a quarterly review of my planner system my journaling system because I've made some changes recently that I think are interesting that maybe it'll be one of them is the introduction of here let me grab it is the introduction of a uh, Stellagy a six um, this is a cover I created for it just with like and um, I have a video that's coming out soon about me setting this up and just why I yeah a setup video but this is 
this will be why I have this, why I've switched from this, why it's replacing something else, and why this size will be part of that review video that I will be filming hopefully early April once I'm off of my holiday. Um, because filming videos and stuff are, 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 the editing is a lot of work. And even though I filmed the setup of this, I had thought that I would edit the video and do the voiceover because I think I'm going to try and voice over it like during my holiday break. And then I'm just enjoying not really doing anything of huge consequence. Like even if we were to look at my weeklies for this week, like I'm keeping track of things I'm doing, but I'm I'm gonna have to go back in and color code this stuff. Um, but I've been very much out of my planner this week, except for a few appointments that I have, just because I'm I'm doing an, an amazing job of just turning um turning my brain off and not doing anything. So um Archer, baby, sorry I have to deal with my dog. One second, Archer, stop. Lie down. Um, so let's see. This is. I think. How did I do this before when I was doing it? All out of my. Um, yeah, like this. Oh, no, that was the shoots. That's okay. Now let's do. I'll just spell it out. Um, what else do I have? coming up in April. So I have, my images are due on Friday. I come back from my holiday. My first week of back to work is the 4th. So I have to, I have to remember to, yeah, do that, finish that planning. Even though I have to turn in my images on April 1st, I'm getting my edit notes from my editor and publisher on the 1st. I'm not actually going to be like working, like the only work thing I'm doing on, on Friday. So there's gonna be five live plan with me's. That's gonna be weird because during um, the, shooting of my cookbook I stopped doing life plan with me's every single week because it was too much I couldn't do I just I could not do um one or the other like I could not do both filming and shooting at the same I mean, I couldn't do life plan with means and filming. No, what's the cookbook photography and life plan with means? <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Could not do both at the same time. So uh, I stopped doing them every single week because it was killing me. And now I'm going to be going back to them and we'll see how that goes. Um, I have, I'm giving a live. Talk. Let me grab my phone here and get up my calendar because I'm on April, I want to say the 13th, but I could be wrong. So let me go to this calendar. Um, I'm going to change this view to the month and let me go to April. Yes. On so yeah, April 12th, I have um, April 12th, business meeting, N75. Oh, wait, nope. Do you want to go N35 or N75? Huh, I think I want to try. Yeah, I think, I think. Let me, no, we'll do this, N75, on the 12th. Um, so on that day, oh, this is dying. I think this was a pen that my dog, um, he ripped, he was somehow managed to take off the one of these ends and eat, like, the inside. 
Archer, you need to lie down. Go lie down, buddy. You don't need to be making noise. You don't need to be disturbing the stream. Um, so that is stop. That is um, I'm giving a um, I'm giving a workshop, a virtual workshop. Did you just see his face? <laughs> that was that was one of my beagles, Archer. I have two beagles, Archer and Ziggy. Um, so on the twelfth um, workshop proposal. So yeah, I'm giving a workshop about writing um, and writing a nonfiction proposal to sell and and what needs to be in a nonfiction book proposal um, to um, to get the attention of publishers because nonfiction books are are sold on proposal um, and then they're written afterwards if the proposal is accepted so but proposal and I don't have my editing due dates yet but there are some birthdays happening um so this is so on the 16th is um two birthdays Kristen and Jenny day and then on the 26th I have another birthday in my life and I think on the 30th let me double check that I have these in my life book let me go back to the life book and see who else has birthdays coming up in April. Um, yes, I was the 30th, so another friend's birthday. Um, now, what else do I have in April? Feel like. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, yeah. I need to do some highlighting. MG20. Um, MG20. Let's continue. Oh, wrong side. Did a different color this time, so let's see. Oh. We'll see in a second what I mean by this. You're gonna be able to see the color on the other side. See, it like it's not ghosting, but that's fine, I suppose. I mean, it makes me it makes me think about using like the um, N. Where is it? Eighty nine for for holiday um, time off. But the problem with that, I don't, like, these don't create the overlapping lines that the Tombos do. And I don't like the overlapping lines that happen with the Tombos. Archer, you need to stop. Sorry, you're going to hear that a lot during the stream. Because my dog is like, what are you doing? You're streaming in a new place. This is weird. Um, so, oh, yeah. Let's do. He's not a fan. I'm off. And then I need, hey, Archer, lie down, baby. Over here, over here, look, on your mat. On your mat, my friend, on your mat. Oh, I put it up here. Yeah, right there, on your mat. On your mat, friend. Oh, he wants to come up again. No, you can't steal that, sorry. You need to be down on your mat I'm gonna do my arrow I'm actually very surprised because I used to do well first I did um, these at my um, when I first started doing the life plan with these 
I was doing them at my work table for like where I set up food styling and um, my photography table. And then I moved once I was started principal photography for my cookbook and was shooting every single day. I moved to my coffee table, which they were very happy to let me just be at the coffee table and do the live plan with me. But now that I'm working at this desk, um, well, one of my dogs, Ziggy, he doesn't seem to care, but Archer is very, very concerned about this whole affair of why am I over here? Why am, why am I in this corner? Um, what else do I have happening in April? I feel like I'm missing something. I mean, this, it's, it's going to fill up more. But let me just look at my month and my calendar. Um, uh, April. Let's see what else? These are all admin days. Did I, so weird. Now that I'm not in photography, I need to go back to like where I, was I putting in my month and a glance, my, my admin days? Like, what was I doing? Um, no, those are, that's a deadline. Two, two, two. Was I doing them in this when it was like really messy? No. Um, let's see. Any doctor's appointments yet? I don't have to go to lab work. Huh. Huh. Oh, I gotta add. I did this. I'm gonna do it again. Here. What was this? Thursday was I had another coffee chat. Um. Yeah. So. I'm actually going to do some coloring in here, I think. I think. Because these are things that are not going to move. Well, except for maybe these with um, life plan with me. If like health something comes up, it may need to go away. But let's, let's, let's continue on here. Um, Work appointments B Jean zero five zero B G zero five zero. So we'll do some coloring in. Some of these tombos I can match really really well. I mean they, with the um with these. So yeah, one end is is a chisel tip. And another end is um, a brush pen. And I love these pens very, very much. I wish I had noticed that these were alcohol-based and not water-based before I bought them. I wish they had, so this um, colorway is like all gray. It's all gray and this won't focus. And I wish I had, I wish they did the same set in um, water-based pens because I would be I would be all over that in a hot minute. Um, deadlines. Archer has gone into one of his kennels, um, and um, he's he's quite. This whole thing is making him very anxious, and I think part of it is that I got this desk while. Um, a holiday was happening so this is the first time since this desk has been set up and put in this area of the room that um i'm working at it and he's like oh this is new this is different it is making me anxious social media creation cg020 um cg no not cg i always do that cg zero here we go here we go So what else have I been doing over the holidays? Oh, on my holidays. So, and I'm really upset that nobody told me about, um, there's a food series on Netflix called High on the Hog. 
and it is based off of a book by a black food historian of the same name and um, there's a bit there's a good portion a good a good amount dedicated in my cookbook to food histories but specifically how um, certain foods made their way to um, North America and the colonization and stories of um, like partition and stuff that resulted in um, people of color um, immigrating to Canada and North America and also some dishes about how they're rooted in enslavement of black people um, just so people can learn the cost of these foods that many of us if we're if we're white and if we have white privilege an exception being to eat some Eastern European dishes that made it after here from that um, how if you're Jewish in Canada unless you live outside of a major city center accessing food that's culturally appropriate is difficult so things like that um, there's a good portion of that and high in the hog I wish I had known about that series beforehand because finding good um, sources of information to create some of the to inform a couple recipes there's only like two recipes that are American cuisine and as opposed to Can Canadian cuisine and American cuisine are very different um Anomic says sorry Anomic welcome and I'm just seeing your comments now this is did I ever try washi tape for days off um, and they will always, or anomic, sorry, not atomic, anomic, always um, have to put that to show on my list. Or I will have to put that on, yeah. So, washi, um, hi, mahogany is interesting, but let me, I just noticed your comment. So, yeah, washi, I have tried it for my days off, and it doesn't quite work for my brain and my aesthetic. I have found that putting washi, like, to decorate in other parts of my calendar, I'm enjoying. But putting it to mark off days off, um, I don't, I mean, I like this, I like it, I like this more. I like putting stickers that are like this, the sticker to like, here, you're gonna, you're gonna be going away somewhere. Um, as opposed to washi. I, yeah, I did try it once and it just, it doesn't work for me. But to go back to um, High on the Hog, and so Canadian food and American food are very, very different. And you would think they would have more in common since we, there's so much of our, our cultures that we interact or like that get shared. Um, but because our histories with enslaved people and colonization are different, um, like a lot of American food is informed because of um, the enslavement of black people and, and soul food and how enslaved peoples um, influence cuisine by cooking for, for, um, for yeah, white people. Um, and so Hind the Hog explores that like really, really in depth how African food and cuisine influenced American cuisine. Um, and how soul food specifically, like how it came about. And and I wish I had known about High on the Hog before writing a couple um, of the food histories for my cookbook so I could have done it more fulsomely, paid it better respect. Um, but yeah, anyways, I've been, that's another thing that I've been doing on my time off is um, watching High on the Hog. Um... I these are from sticky just as a uh, BT dubs I am looking I have stickers that I use to here we go birthday stickers to on on days that are birthdays I like to decorate oops and I of course I crease that I like to add little stickers um to those days so that's a birthday and uh, I think this guy is cute. I'll put this birthday and one more birthday sticker. Let's do this upside down sticker. Um, and then so you, 
Might be able to do sneak some info and in, yes, yeah, I might. So I know I'll make a saying for those of you who are watching this on replay and not watching chat is saying that I may be able to sneak some of that info in during edits. And that's what I'm hoping. I'm um, because we do have three rounds of edits. Um, I'm hoping that I can speak with my my editor and say, hey, like, can I can I add like an extra 200 words in for this recipe just to make it more more informative, um, more because a, a big goal that I have with my book is to is to help with um, decolonization of food and and just just give give it its due. Um, the thing though with with books, it's really tricky. Um, when you're when you're pitching a book, you have to say how many words are going to be in the book, and the word count is actually really really important because word count dictates how many pages are in the book and how many pages dictates printing costs, which dictate dictates the final cover. Um, and so you have very little room to go over or under on those word counts because there's all this stuff evolved around that. And um, we're trying to keep the finished cost like to the consumer of my book to be $35 as paperback. I mean, it would be really nice if it was hardcover. But $35 um, paperback because it is, um, the target audience is disabled people and disabled people have, um, are, are, um, are more, like, more of them are living in poverty than other populations. There's a word for that. Seriously, my brain is, my brain has completely shut off. Disproportionately affected more of them disproportionately more disabled people we more of us are are poor than and otherwise and part of the aim of the book is also to help um teach some some techniques that are not filled with classism and ableism also color photography yeah that's another like my cookbook is 41 full color images which is a lot of full color images in a cookbook Normally, these are like 10 to 15, unless it's a really expensive cookbook that is in the 50 to $75 mark. But we're wanting to keep mine $35 and affordable. So it's really, it's really um, tricky trying to balance the aim of making it accessible to the target audience of disabled people who are traditionally like more on the lower income end of things um, and having it like, there's, yeah, having it accessible but keeping it, um, the design and the layout and having these extra pieces in it, um, because it does have multiple aims. And so, oh, this just tipped over. So yeah, it's just one of those things that, um, we have to be mindful. Um, so now I want to add some, have some washi. These I got a long time ago from sticky club and i wish they still sold washi samples but they don't because the postal services both in america and in canada hates when washi boards are sent out um anomic says yes keeping costs down is a balancing act yeah exactly so i'm trying to use up um this washi as much as possible um, so that I can reuse these boards because I, I, I went a little bit, um, <laughs> I bought, I don't know, like a lot of washi tape and it was just like small rolls, not thinking about like how I'm going to store them or whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to use up the washi boards or this washi so I can move on to, um, to, like reuse them for some the washi that I some washi I just got. So I'm like finding different ways that this it's old and it breaks easily. Um, I think actually that's because I'm still in holiday up here because these dates are from March. So I think adding some sky is appropriate. This is another thing that I'm trying to do, and maybe you all can can help me figure it out is. I have 
a lot of stickers from Sticky Club. I'm I have the monthly um um da, 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 da. antique. It's not vintage vintage subscription pack. Um and I have a problem. I see a lot of people they just use whatever stickers they they like. And, and don't necessarily reflect what it what the 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 um here maybe this will help <laughs> illustrate it so if we go to my weeklies like so for a break like I have a coffee cup um for admin time I have pens or whatever um so I have a sticker that corresponds with like the activity but I'll, I know I see a lot of people they just put well I like the sticker so I'm gonna put the sticker down and I like to have it decorate because I, I mean, I'm an artist, so I, I like my functional planning to also look aesthetically pleasing. For me personally, it, it doesn't really add any time to my planning and it makes me, I mean, it makes me happy to open up my planner and to spend so much time in it and making sure that I'm um, putting in my appointments and blocking out my work time. Um, if we go to just give a sneak peek of um, a day like this is a thing that I've also been doing on my holiday oh. I have um, a bunch of adult coloring books that are like fractals and geometric designs and stuff they make my autism really really happy so I've been taking um, like really really thin it's it's vellum but it's like the thinness of um, tracing paper and so I've been here I'll show you an example that isn't colored so I've been using like I've been putting this on the coloring book tracing it I'm going to print it because this is a little bit extra I'm spending all this time tracing it and then coloring it in so I can use it as tip-ins um, and so in like even in my dailies um, I have like this is my weekly journal of journaling in the week, but I like, I, I use decorations that are kind of reflective of how my day is, but I want to get away from worrying so much about reflecting what I'm doing in a day and just decorating it because I want it to, I, I want it to be purely decorative because I need to use my stickers. I also have to, I'm going to be doing an unhaul soon and showing you all a bunch of stickers and washi and stuff that I'm going to be putting up maybe on Etsy I don't know I have to start an Etsy shop for it and and just get rid of um, because I'm never gonna use them because they're colors that are just or aesthetic designs that are just not me and not my vibe and when I got them, I thought that I could use them. I'm like, oh, these are cute. I like them. They're cute. But then when I go to put them down, it's like, no, this cute is not, is not me. And I like cute to look at. I like, I don't necessarily want cute in my journal. But my whole point of this is I'm trying to, to move away from um, having it like, and I think this is an autistic thing is I, I i i want to be able to just put down a sticker because i like it and not because it is reflective of what is happening on that day and so if anybody has any tips of what they do to um just decorate simply for the sake of decorating and not necessarily as an act of um record like an act of reflecting what it is that they're doing i'm trying to find a sticker to that kind of says oh maybe i have one of a book that will fit in there or writing so if you i have to update my website um so yeah the book sh workshop on um how to write a nonfiction book proposal that sells is through the orange county public library system in florida I love technology because I'm in Canada and I can give workshops at libraries in Florida. Um, it's at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. And if you go to my website, um, polariscreative.ca and click on the speaking engagement tab, um, you can find more information about that. If you are interested in learning like 
what goes into publishing nonfiction, like how how do you go about that? What do you need to write in your proposal? What do you need to relay? Because I mean, the publisher wants you to have a platform. What does that mean? Um, some yeah. So do any of these say? But proposal. I mean, this one kind of does. It says bon, which is the French word for good. And I'm just gonna put this here. I'm not gonna have anything else on the twelfth. I know that. Um, what time is that? Oh, we got lots of time. Maybe I can also move on to planning my week, setting that up at least briefly, even though I'm not. I mean, I still have to record. Oh, that reminds me. I need to update this. Because, um, so Anomic says that they just do random decorative sticker spreads in a different journal notebook and do a bit of journaling with the spreads. Yeah, so that is part of the reason why, okay, you all are gonna get a sneak peek of, of my quarter, I'm going to switch gears for a minute, quarter um, video that I'm doing where I, I'm reevaluating re my planning system. So if you were to go to my 2022 planner lineup video, oh sorry, there's like stuff falling. You'll see this. And I bought this from Wanderings because, I mean, look at it. It's amazing. The leather is really nice. It has um, recycled fiber, um, deckle edge paper, and I thought, you know what, I love this. I will use this because I just love holding it. I love, I love the aesthetic of it, so I need it. Um, and I did the December journal challenge in it where I did, like, I journaled every single day, and it's basically that. Just laid down random stickers and journal about my day. And some days are long and some days are short and it's just about filling the pages and being creative um these are examples like this is postcards i was selling at an art exhibit so yeah it was just basically that then january rolled around and i completely stopped using this and part of the reason is um nothing wants to stick in here it's um keeping it open while, while like it doesn't lay flat it doesn't lay open I have to this flap keeps it was it was I love it I'm still have to figure out how I'm going to use this at some point but it is not conducive to journaling in it in a regular basis it is good for um, like I tried I was thinking that I was going to be sketching during my holiday and I like started taking notes in it and it's, it's maybe good for like grabbing it every once in a while for something but I mean like the date bleed, bled right through or right through here so I mean it might be good to use every now and then and I was playing with I'm um, using my Tombos as watercolors so this may be good for like this type of thing but it's not good for just sitting down and journaling and in my um jaboon techo day journal every single because um, my sundays are personal family days so i've been also using the sundays in my jaboon daily as like a week recap a, a longer journal um, and I will make sometimes, let's go to, like, here's a journal entry right here. Um, so, like, my, my days are a mix of work appointments, business, business appointments, um, lecture notes that I need to take during meetings, um, and, and whatever. Mix of business, personal, functional, um, appointments, to-do lists, all that other stuff in the days. But Sundays are sit down, journal, art, decorate, whatever. But I was finding that I have things that happen during the week that I'm like, I really want to journal about this during the week on a day, not wait till Sunday to put down my thoughts because it was really, really exciting. But um, 
there's just not the room on on days or it doesn't feel it feels like it can get lost when it's mixed up in like right here I just have a no finished principal photography I still don't believe this is real meaning I still don't believe I'm, I have a cookbook that's coming out because that has like a dream I didn't think would happen um, but I want to like elaborate more on those thoughts and not have it like in my admits my to-do lists and and my appointments for the day and whatever so that is why I got um, the Stalogy and I went with the A6 because um, it is small enough that I can do one day for on two pages if I wanted to. I can use lots of stickers and maybe one or two sentences or no stickers at all. I probably should not have gotten the full year. Um, and yeah, so um, Anomic says that they use a plain unneeded notebook. So if they want to skip days, it's still okay. And so that's one of the reasons why I went with the Salogy. Um, because it's the thinner paper. It I can watercolor in it as well if I want to. And there's just no pressure. And it's just a size that is more... Um, there's no pressure to fill like I can use one page for a day or two page like a full two page spread for a day there's there, yeah it's just less pressure I can I can um I have a note in here that um we come to relax and have fun is like this book is just basically to relax and have fun I haven't really started any yet other than here's okay I'm going on an, another tangent here since this is like I'm on holiday and I've already basically set my month. So I saw somebody, I wish I could remember the name of the YouTube channel. Um, I think I subscribed to her one second. Maybe I can, maybe I can pull it up in my history on my phone here. Um, no, not YouTube music. One second. Oh, I, I binge watched like <laughs> months and months of her back um catalog she's hilarious um she lives in iowa if that rings any bells um let me go into my library if i have to remember what channel i was watching her on it's a problem when you have multiple youtube accounts um my history let me um nope hold on i gotta switch gotta switch accounts here i think mm. let me switch to this one one second let's library history emmy lou arts okay there we go emmy lou arts I was watching her. I love the way, like the way she journals is the way that I like to journal, the way that I want to journal. And she, I saw her using watercolors in here and it makes me really sad because, and I wish the Hobo, and I think it's, it's just the Tomoe River paper and it made me think, well, maybe I need the Wonderland 222, which is also Tomoe River paper. So in Tomoe River paper, with the Tombows, let me go into, you can use them as watercolors. You just do like the swatch and you grab some water, like a paint water and you, and you watercolor like you would with an actual watercolor. You can do it like the dry technique or you can like wet the page and put the tombos down and it works really, really nicely to use tombow brush pens as watercolor pens on Tomoe River paper. And she was saying, Emily Lou was, was saying that, um, this, her, one of the reasons that she, cause she also switched from, um, a Hobonichi to a Stalogy for her, for her daily journaling. Um, and one of the reasons she said is because the paper, how the paper in the Stalogy, cause it is meant, made for artists also works good with watercolors so it was my hope because my hobonichi is my project planner it was my hope that 
um, cause I want to do some watercolor painting. It was my hope that I would be able to also do the same thing with the Tombow brush pens in here. But unfortunately, um, once you put the, the brush pen down in the Tombow, it, it locks in the color. Um, unlike the Hobonichi, the color still sits on top of the page where this, the paper used in the Celogy, the, the, the paper, like the watercolor gets sucked in or the Tombow gets, the ink gets sucked in and it does not, I mean, you can probably see the difference. Let me do it side by side. You can't do the same gradient, the same effects. Like this was really difficult to create. And like I had to put down the water, then the pen, and then create Like it's just, you don't have the same control. And then it would bleed through. Um, and it doesn't bleed through. I mean, there's some ghosting, but it doesn't bleed like it does in this. So I was hoping to avoid buying watercolor paints even though there's like some really cheap sets you can get and I was hoping to use what materials I still have because I want to be able to just go in here and just open up random pages and pull down some watercolor and then once I get to that random page when I'm journaling then I just have that color there but I mean yeah so that's that's this is new um I haven't had time. I just set this up a few days ago and I have a, a setup video of like how I created the cover um, and why I've basically why I'm doing this. But this is a sneak peek for for those who are watching the stream live and who watch it on preview while you while you wait for me to be off holiday and um, finally do the voiceover and publish the video about this baby and then also like re re the changes to my planner system and i had tried like another thing that is changing um archer it's me sorry you have to excuse my dogs archer so i was given um hold on nomic says that they know there are some plain tomoe river paper notebooks but um i think the size is more the a5 yeah there's lots of tomoe river paper notebooks but the, again the problem is a5 and just a5 to my brain it is um there's more pressure to fill i mean that's a lot i mean yeah like an a6 is half the size of an a5 that's a lot of pressure to be like i need to journal all of all of this and i've seen that um goulette pens sell some okay good to know um it's it's um there's more pressure i see a lot of people fall out of using a hobonichi a5 or even doing a B6, which is like in between an A5 and the A6, um, just because of the extra room. Um, and I had also thought about doing the five year or three year journal because I like the idea of being able to like journal a sentence or two every day and then coming back next year and like just having like five years of this is what happened on this day for five years in a row. So I, I had this notebook that was given to me and I thought I will try a five year before making the investment. And then I was doing it every single day and then I got sick and I fell out of this at the end of January. And I thought, well, I tried it, getting back into it again on the 9th of February. I, like I counted through all the pages needed to get to the 9th. And I think maybe, Part of the reason why this didn't work for me um, is the fact that, and it's why bullet journaling doesn't work for me, is that there's the setup and that I have to like manually add the years. And then again, it is like, there's just some days where I have no energy, not even enough energy to, to add one sentence, um, briefly summarizing my day. So this is no longer... I, I mean, I will still use this for, for scratch paper or something, but it's no longer part of my regular system. Um, and I might go back to, I might like just see if somebody is selling um, a, a five year on SD or whatever, like, cause they're unhauling. 
and see if I can get one cheaper than than new um, because yeah yeah um, anomic is also saying yeah it's a lot of space in an a5 and this this is like this is like a this size right here is a b6 and so you can see the difference between an a6 and a b6 I mean it's still quite there's still quite a bit of room um, and then we go to the a5 slim I mean that's the scene this is just more manageable um, and I might go up to a B6 at some point um, if I find this is too small because I do have some bigger stickers that like one sticker is going to take up a whole, oh, this way, is going to take up a whole bunch of this real estate. But I also have, I can do two pages per day. So this is, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I like the paper. I like that it, it will accept watercolor paints. And um, it will, I mean, if we, if we look at this, you can see like the watercolors that I use here has already started, oh, focus, it's not going to, it's already started to plump the pages, but I like that. And I like the crinkly sound that it makes when you add water to these pages. I, I want that, I want that ASMR in a good way. I'm going to say this. There's so many unboxing videos where people mute the sound when they're taking off the flimsy plastic wrapping off their supplies or they apologize for it and i'm like no like just please keep that crinkly sound on there's other asmr videos where i'm like ooh, no i cannot that sound swigs me out but the sound of, of crinkly paper and the sound of the plastic from supplies i like that so i will never mute when i'm doing an unhaul video I will never mute those sounds. Um, so we've got 25 minutes. So let's let's look at my week next week. Um, I still have to, to color this in. Oh, hold on. I didn't do my body checkings yesterday. I remember what they were. Uh, oh, no, this is today. So I woke up this morning and I was a three. And it is two o'clock and I am still a three, which is amazing. Um, oh, so let me, a thing, I'm going to need to put this back, that I have been doing, kind of informally, is, so, stickies, oh, this is, this is having an issue. Well, that sticker's off, so I'm going to, you know what? Just for fun, Daylight like Saving in North America was on the 20th. No, was it the 13th? When did we do Daylight like Saving? And I should have written this down. Um, did I write it down in here? I swear I recorded it. Um, yes, the 13th. So let me let me put this clock here. Because, um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. So next week, let me, I do have, let me set this up a bit. Um, oh, yeah. I know what I was doing. Back to 13. Yes. Thank you, Anomic. 13. So what I've been trying to do is you know how some people they will have like a color scheme if they're bullet journaling for a month or like a color scheme for a week um and they, they change out colors like every week or every month what i've been trying to do is when um so this sticky pack is the march and this is this one just arrived for april and so as much as possible i've been using the March stickers in March. Um, not so much theme light, but just tr just to try and get them used. Um, and then this month, I will be using as much as possible of the April ones. And I love. There was a thing that came um, last, um, and I think there's a when I was setting up March. 
the daily stickers like these all have the day of the month on them I was hoping that they would happen again for April and they aren't daily stickers which is um, a shame they do have tabs um, this month and they're gothic and I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna use them I I don't know I don't know where I'd use them I might I was thinking I might use them in here so when I when I move into a new month I can put one of these just so I can flip through at least knowing where like months are in here I don't know but there's other things about this month that um like these might turn in I might unhaul these I don't know but there's other ones that I'm like these books I'll be able to use these typewriters I'll be able to use this um, chair I'll be able to use easily for like just relaxation um, if you will look at my weeklies for things that I've also been adding to them is so the stamp also came from from the sticky um, just like filling up blank spaces with with different things just just having more um being more free with with my stickers i still have to like there's so much because this week is a holiday i have so much actually I can check this off because i did start doing this this i'm moving um i just have so much room to, to just lay down stickers and have fun and just be all about the relaxation um, and again, this is the whole, I have to find stickers to me that are my aesthetic that say this is like a holiday vibe. I'm relaxing this week. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do at least the things that are, I know for sure are happening. Like, um, like my milk deliveries and deadlines and, and other things. Let's. So yeah, another thing that I that I am doing. So I moved. Yeah, the these alcohol based pens are awesome as far as colors. Like I like how muted they are, and how they're just these. This is so much more like color wise. It's the same colors as my Tombos, but this dark just I love the color schemes, but it's too dark. And then I got these and the opacity is the opacity that i want but the problem is the colors bleed through and blend between one side or the other and you can't really quite see as easily um because the reason why i do this is so i can look at a glance and see where i'm spending my time and it's more difficult to see how much time a week i'm dedicating to to like cooking you can't you like you really can't see the cooking as a compared to the shooting time being all that different when compared to this I mean you can really tell where I'm spending my time on this week compared to this and so before holiday I started to outline with the, so I'm using the Tom bows to outline the blocks and then using the um, oh who oh who who um, alcohol based pens to color them in with a corresponding color for for my color code and I think this is working more and then I went on a holiday and so it's like basically all personal time there's not really much to color code uh, while I'm on holiday so it'll, it will be interesting once I go back to work to see that change again but there are let's it's gonna be my priority this week is still to relax but there are some things that I do need to put in right now that if I don't, I am going to um, forget to do them because I'm trying to find, oh, here we go. I put it in the wrong spot because I'm trying to, because I live, even though, like, even though I'm not really in my planners as much while I'm on holiday, I'm still having to check it for like, what do I need to watch tonight before it disappears from streaming platforms? Because that's a thing that happens in Canada. If you don't have a cable subscription for some, for some shows. Um, so on Sunday, I need to let me put in that deadline up here. 
Um, let me just do this. These two areas, and it doesn't really matter on these ones if they bleed through. So it's going to be the same color on the other side. The only time that it really bothers me, the fact that they bleed, not so, like ghosting is one thing, but it's the bleeding that is a problem because it's going to be like it's bleeding through, it's not mixing the colors when they bleed. So that's, there's some sections that I don't care that it bleeds and there's others that, oh, wait a minute. I need to deadline. That is what color is that again in my in these pens? The deadlines are RG120. Here we go. Color over it. And that's another nice thing I like about the alcohol pens is I can basically color over them and it it doesn't um it doesn't blend in the same way as if I were to do this with watercolors. You know what I mean? Watercolors, they blend. Alcohol pens, you're basically placing um color on color. Um so but and the, another thing I love about these alcohol-based pens, and it's too bad they're alcohol, is that you can still see the grid lines, and you know how there's like there's this, like, can you see it? Like the fake or the 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 um really faint watermark here because it's a holiday, the Japanese holiday or special day on on the first. Um, it still shows up through the alcohol based pens as opposed to the Tombos. I mean, you, you can't see any of the lines underneath when, when using a Tombow in the, in the Jaboon. So, I mean, there's pros and cons to using the alcohol based pens in, in the Jaboon. If you're using a Hobonichi, Oh, let me, let me show you what happens in the Hobonichi. The Hobonichi is really sad. Um, Pages it at. What did I do that do it? Um, I tried testing one of the colors in the Hobonichi and it like bleeds to an extreme. I wonder if I did it. How did I do that testing? Interesting. I can't find it. Let me show you right now. Let me do, I'll do this color. So we just, um, see, I mean, it's darker. It's darker on the, the back side where it bled to than it is on the side that you, you put it down. That's what happens with the Hobonichi. So do not use these pens at all on Tomoe River paper but it works on um it works just fine like there's still some bleeding but it's it's not as bad and i can put another color on the side and sure they will it's it's different the way that they bleed is different um and it all it all depends on how how um how fussed, what is the word that's not very British? That's a very British thing that I just said. That's my grandma talking. Um, how, it, it, OCD is ableist, because it has nothing to do with OCD. I mean, your own personal tolerance, your your aesthetic, what you like um, in, your, in your journals. So where did I put, there we go, there's my micron. Um, so images are due. It's another thing I have to do in April so I can show you all. I have to get permission from my publisher is print off all of my finished images and put them in um, my project planner with the rest of them. 
like on the on the um on my sprocket printer. Um and so 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 I also have hopefully another video. So I have a bunch of videos. Oh, that's, that's another thing that I can show you now. And as a sneak peek is um in the daily, you know how it has the repeat of like the 100s whatever lists. Um I have in here like things that recipes I want to develop and stuff in these ones um and I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna use these pages but then I thought you know what I always coming up like I I was thinking the other day what can I film that's not live plan with me that people would enjoy um so yeah astrology setup that's another thing that I've been able to use in my in my days um so the quarter one system review I have that coming up oh so here's another thing that I decided that I'm going to do on my um, business social media is coming up with like food images to post is really, really like tiresome sometimes, especially now that I'm not shooting my cookbook and there's only so much client work I can legally show on my own channel. So um, another thing that I have coming up is um, I've decided that I am basically every single day of the week has a food holiday associated with it. And I've decided I'm going to photograph every single food holiday and like talk about that food holiday or the food history or whatever on my um, Polaris Creative Food um, Instagram account. I'm not going to be shooting every day and sharing the images every day. It's a multi-year social media project where I'm old because I only post a Instagram once or twice a week depending on what's going on so I'm going to be adding a new um, section in my Hobonichi project planner dedicated to that years long photography project so I have that video coming up um, yeah the unhaul video and so you guys can get a look at things that I will be selling on maybe Etsy I, I don't want to set up another website for that but I know a lot of people moving away from Etsy um, and then I have the Your, Your Create Studio boxes coming. And then I have a bunch of other um, haul videos. So an, an unhaul and a haul videos are, are coming up as well. That um, I'm looking forward to. But I'm hoping this week um, my Your Create Studio March box arrives in March it would be nice there's been shipping delays between the US and um, Canada it's really weird to me that your create studio is based here in British Columbia like across, I'm on Vancouver Island your create studios office is based in Vancouver which is like across the the water for me but they warehouse and ship everything out of California so I wish they shipped. I wish they shipped to Canadian customers from Canada. And it, I would have had it a long time ago because I've been seeing people doing unboxing videos for the March Your Create Studio box. And it is completely my my jam. And I'm dying to get my hands on it. Um, so anyways, back to this. Again, I have to put in my cow op order on Monday. I almost forgot to do that this past week because I'm my yeah it's really weird it took all like the, the first weekend of my holiday um, I had a really hard time the weekend my brain wouldn't turn off but something magical happened last Monday where I just my brain completely shut off and and things that I thought I was going to do my brain is like no you don't need to do that Wait, that should be delivery, not deadline. It's another thing I'm curious to know. Because I see people who, um, they don't like to use their monthlies because they're like, well, stuff gets moved around and then you have to cross it off. And I kind of do that for my days in a way. Like, I have time blocks. I have... 
like now that I'm in um, editing of the cookbook, Mondays and Fridays are going to be back to admin days and the mornings will be like e dedicated to like admin work and the afternoons dedicated to other things like maybe social media creation or whatever. Admin work being like um, client responding to client emails, doing bookkeeping, that monotonous stuff that hate. But I was watching a video and I can't remember the name of the planner and how they get upset when they have to cross things out because they make a mistake. And I'm like, I love crossing things out because it shows that you're, you're flexible. Um, and I never used to like crossing things out, but this is a thing that I, when I was working through, um, some of my, um, perfectionism things that are the result of trauma, um, now being able to be like you know what life is messy and crossing thing at crossing things out means that i'm now okay to some degree i mean being autistic with a with a bit of um ocd to it i'm not flexible like if i something uh, there's a difference between um, flexibility in my days because of illness and flexibility in like say someone says they're going to be at my house at a specific time or I need to be somewhere and they're 10 or 15 minutes late. Those are completely different things. And um, but I never used to be that way. Like it's like I, I used to be very upset if I would have to um, cancel like say I had a friend coming over and I was not well that day and I had to cancel the friend, I would get unreasonably upset because of a whole, because of OCD with and my autism and then trauma. And now that I've worked through, through some of the trauma things, um, I now, when I cross things out and move them is like, yay, way to do your self care. I now feel good about them depending on what it is. I mean, it's, yeah, it really depends. Um, but you can see, I don't know. I, I have examples of it back here where I had something planned and then I had to scratch it out and change to self care. And then I just put in my, I put in my journal, like, Hey, you have to stop doing this because you were doing self care. And then when I look at it later, I'm like, yes, look at you doing the self-care and taking care of yourself. Um, and now let me just, I mean, I have to, I have to color in or add things I plan to watch next week. So I don't forget I have the, my right in still, I like watching, um, Job's journal live stream on Thursdays, but we're almost out of time here. So let's, well, I, well, I'm coloring or outlining this. Um, let's talk about what we ha what I have coming up next. So, as already stated, starting next next Saturday, um, I'm back to my weekly life plan with me is with the caveat of unless I'm ill or whatever because um, there's always the chance that I may have to cancel but yeah so coming next Saturday I am back to um, the weekly life plan with me instead of every other week so that's exciting um, I'm really looking forward to getting my edit notes from my editor. I'm also a little bit afraid. Uh, they are like, we have the same vision for my book, but it's still one of those things where it's like, Oh, like they've given me no heads up. As soon as I handed in my manuscript on Mark on March 1st, they let me know what was coming next. Um, and what the timeline was and like, um, and then they're like, enjoy your, I'm um, enjoy your break until you hand in your images on the first. And they haven't communicated with me anything, like giving me any type of heads up about what type of edits may be coming for this first round. The only thing I know 
for sure is um, I have mm -mm. yeah so manuscript edit go all the way three rounds from the first to June 15th is when the end of the three rounds of copy edits are going to be finished and then it goes off to design over the summer before it comes back with proofreading and making the indexes in September. So yeah, that's, that's a glance. Yeah. So proofreading round one of the physical copy that's going to be maybe, maybe then, maybe then it, this will feel real. And then round two, that goes back to another short run print with any corrections and layout issues. And then proofreading round two begins in April. And that's also when I create the, the index is based on round two. And then final checks are the last couple of weeks in November. And that's when like no more big changes. It's like maybe a dropped like little tiny changes and then off to the printer on December 1st for review copies, advanced review copies to go out. And that's just for people who are like, why does it take so long? And this is a rushed publication schedule. I mean, normally these timelines are not, are longer, normally have more time. Like I had, I signed the contract in November, end of November. So I had December, January and February to write the manuscript and finish the recipe development. And normally for a cookbook, you have one year to develop the cookbook. I had three months. <laughs> so it's like totally super fast, super, super fast. Um, so yeah, I, that's it for today. Um, I hope you had, um, I hope that you got some good either journaling done or planning done or whatever. Um, and we'll see if I get the audio for this, for the setup for this, but it may be, it may be a while, um, before that video comes up, but for sure I'll be back on, we'll be doing this again next Saturday. Uh, so exciting and so fast. Yeah. Very exciting and very fast anomic. Um, I, yeah, it's maybe once I hand in my images on Friday that it will be real but yeah so i'll see you all for sure um on saturday beginning at 1 p.m pacific um 9 p.m because daylight saving happens for so 9 p.m british daylight time since um, daylight saving happens tomorrow for ever, the rest of the world um yeah thank you anomic i will have a great second week of week of my vacation and you all see you next Saturday. Um, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye.